it's Rosa. Welcome. Today I'm showing you two really easy, super budget friendly, bohemian inspired DIYs. And today is also a French Friday hop that is hosted by Heidi from the channel Heidi Sambol DIY. She is the creator of this really fun multi-channel collab. Down in my description box, there's a link. So when you're done watching my video, all you have to do is click and hop on over to the next channel. For my first DIY, I'm taking this old plain throw blanket and giving it a new life with some yarn, buttons, and elastic hairbands. I love throw blankets with tassels and pom-poms, but I don't like that I have to always hand wash them because the tassels are really delicate. So I thought I would make one with tassels that can be removed. I love this because one, it's easy maintenance. I can remove the tassels and throw it in the washing machine and two because I can change out the tassels and have a completely different blanket. So to make my tassels, I like using a piece of cardboard. This one is seven inches wide by seven inches long and for these chunkier tassels, I'm wrapping the yarn around the cardboard between 55 and 60 times. It doesn't take long at all, it's just a few seconds. Next, I'm taking a piece of yarn that is a little more than two times the length of my cardboard and I'm looping it through under the yarn to secure it. Now this next step is important. You wanna make sure one of the yarn pieces is a lot longer than the other one. And before you tie it, go ahead and loop a small elastic hairband through the yarn. Be able to make a really tight knot at this point so just tie it loosely and then flip your cardboard sideways and slide the yarn out next I get my pair of scissors and cut the ends loose and at this point I can go ahead and tie and secure the tassel with a double knot Next, I'm going to cover most of that elastic band with the long piece of yarn that we left out at the beginning. I'm creating a loop that is a little longer than my elastic with the shorter piece of yarn, making sure I have access to the loose end of the loop at the bottom. And then I begin wrapping the long piece of yarn around both the yarn loop and the elastic hairband. When I get to the very top, I'm going to secure my yarn by passing it through the top loop and pulling the short piece of yarn we left out at the bottom. And then I'll just cut out the excess yarn. And then all that's left to do is to tie the tassel at the top and towards the middle. And then I'm just giving it a little haircut to even out the yarn. I've already sewn most of my wooden buttons on the throw. I placed my buttons about seven inches apart, but that ended up being a lot of tassels. So I think between 10 to 14 inches apart would work better, but I'm still really happy with how it turned out. project I'm taking again something I already had this rug I ordered online a while ago and I completely did not measure because when it arrived I realized it was super tiny so I decided to take some rope and customize it to make it work for my space I used a combination of liquid nails which was actually really messy I ended up switching to e6000 glue as you'll see later but I went back and forth uh, with liquid nails and hot glue to wrap the rope around itself and I made these discs and I pinched the last row at the very top to create this kind of pointy shape. And I also made a few discs with a knot at the top so I could fringe the ends. Mm -hmm. 
and to assemble all the pieces I used a cocktail of E6000 hot glue and I used this Gorilla Tape underneath all the pieces to create kind of like a backing on the rug and keep everything in place. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to continue on the Friend Friday Hop by clicking the link in my description box. And I will see you on my next video.